Money Talks is brought to you by the Heritage Family Credit Union. Your community, your credit union. Online shopping is a major component of our economy these days. But is shopping online using credit and debit cards safe to do? With identity theft at an all-time high and major retailers over the past year admitting someone hacked into their databases for personal customer information, it's no wonder some aren't feeling too confident their information will be safe. Today we're talking about identity theft protection and the best ways you can keep your information under lock and key. Identity theft is in every community across the United States, from in our own backyard to large metropolises like New York City. With new scams popping up all the time, it's hard to be sure your personal information is protected. There are a few things you can do, however, to give yourself the best chance at privacy. Don't send your social security number out via email to anybody unless you know that somehow it's password protected or encrypted. You have to, you know, because you know, there's somebody out there that could grab it pretty easily. Um, text messaging is the same way, unfortunately. It's actually easier to get at a phone, so if you're buying things on your phone, um, that's a whole nother thing that's going to come out of this. If you find out your credit cards or other information has been hacked, contact the Federal Trade Commission. It's designed to protect consumers. On its website, there are tips on how to protect your information. Next week, Mike will join Access again to talk about identity theft fraud when it comes to your taxes.